Assalamu alaikum and a very good day to everyone. So this is BAT203 Cell Mechanics Lecture 3 Part 2. Um, but here in this video I will uh, show you guys how to classify soil using British soil classification system. British, okay? So in the previous two example, dalam dua contoh sebelum ini kita gunakan Unified Soil Classification System or USCS. So in this example, we are going to use British Soil Classification System. Uh, right. So let's go straight away to um, our example here. Okay, and then this question, uh, this example, you can get in the slide. Okay, please refer to the slide for this question. Alright, let's start by understanding. Kita faham dulu apa yang dikehendaki oleh soalan. Alright. Okay, so dia cakap kat sini. Uh, in a liquid limit test on fine grain soils by using a cone penetrometer or falcon method. The following results were recorded. Maksudnya, dalam satu test, uh, lab test untuk menentukan liquid limit uh, dengan menggunakan falcon method, results seperti dalam table ni telah kita dapat. Okay, before we go further, remember in the previous uh, slide, uh, we know that in order for us to get the liquid limit value okay we have two ways or we have two tests kita ada dua tests di makmal untuk menentukan liquid limit the first one is um, we call it percussion cup method if you still remember percussion cup method yang you will do in the lab when the COVID-19 is over hopefully and then the second one is falcon method okay so in this uh, example, this data kita dapat daripada falcon method. So penetration here in millimeter, moisture content in percent. Penetration ni adalah merujuk kepada penetration of the cone. Okay, penetration of the cone into the soil. Okay, contohnya uh, this is a simple drawing. Okay, this is the cone. Okay. And then this is your soil sample down here. Uh, soil sample. Okay, so penetration here millimeter is the penetration of this cone into your soil sample. Okay, so we have this data here. I don't have to read everything, isn't it? Awak boleh nampak ni daripada, I mean awak boleh dapat daripada slide. Okay, so this is the data. So, let's look at what we have to find. Okay, uh, given, okay, the plastic limit was estimated to be 33%. Okay, diberi, okay, value liquid limit, uh, sorry, value plastic limit is 33%. Okay, now, what we have to do is, we have to determine tentukan okay uh, I'm gonna use red highlight because this is the one that we have to find okay determine uh, the liquid limit and plasticity index of the soil and classify using I mean according to British soil classification system so kat sini kita kena cari tiga benda actually. Okay. So the first one we have to find liquid limit. And the second one we have to find plasticity index. And then the third one we have to classify uh, the soil based on British soil classification system. Okay guys, before we go further... Uh, I would like you. To, I would like to show you 
uh, how to name the soil based on British soil classification system. Uh, okay, looking at this table, you can get this table from the slide. Table ni pun ada dalam slide. Okay, for British soil classification system, we have the primary letter and secondary letter. Primary letter means uh, letter at the front. Okay, huruf pertama dalam penamaan tanah tu. And secondary, of course, huruf kedua. Okay, for example, okay, I'll give you an example. Um, for example, sorry, uh, if the soil uh, name is uh, G P U. So what is G? Okay, G is gravel. P U is what is P U? P U based on the secondary letter is. Um, sorry, uniformly graded. Uni. Okay, uniformly graded. So, to write the name is. So, to write the name, it is uniformly graded gravel. So, GPU is uniformly graded gravel. Itu contoh. Okay, I'll give you another example. Another example is, for example, if it's, um, okay, well, let's write down here, CV. So, sorry, okay, CV. So, C is what? C is clay, isn't it? C is clay. And V is very high plasticity. So, CV is... So CV is very high plasticity clay ataupun clay of very high plasticity. This mean the same. Maksudnya sama je. It's just how you arrange the words. Okay, macam mana awak arrangekan perkataan tu. Tapi membawa maksud yang sama. So, okay, let's look at one more example. Uh, ML. So, what is ML? Okay, M is... If you can see from here, the primary letter, huruf pertama M, is silt. L is low plasticity. So, kalau M, L is silt of low plasticity. Ataupun, low plasticity, silt. Alright? Okay, and with uh, British soil, um, classification system we also have to refer to uh, this chart okay this chart is also I mean can also be obtained from the slide okay dalam slide ada chart ni so dah letakkan dalam slide juga you can get it from here I mean sorry from there okay so uh, as you can see on the x axis is liquid emit and on the y axis is plasticity index and it's divided into different portion okay so kalau kita nampak kat sini we can see cl ci ch and so on okay so let's get back to our example example one all right so what you have to do uh, when you got when you get this kind of question is you plot this table. Awak plotkan data dalam table ni. Dalam bentuk graph. Okay. So, I did it for you already. Okay. We, saya dah plotkan uh, all these numbers in a graph. And then, it's, it looks like this. So, yeah. It looks like this. Okay. Tadi kan kita ada four points. Sorry, this graph is too big. But I hope you can uh, understand. We have four um, points, isn't it? So one, two, three, four. Okay. And as I said just now, so the check up tadi, the cut x axis is penetration millimeter, and then the cut y axis is the moisture content. Okay. So you plot all the data. Awak plotkan semua data datang ya data-data yang ada di dalam 
table ni tadi plot this table and then you'll get this graph okay bila dah awak plot all the four points so you kalau awak guna uh, excel you can do the trend line okay yang linear tu kalau awak guna graph paper then you can you can also make a straight line okay okay so from here macam mana nak dapat uh, liquid limit okay so it's very easy from this graph you go to the x-axis and then you go to penetration at 20 millimeter okay at 20 millimeter and then from here you make a line okay daripada 20 ni tadi okay you make a line it's up to you dash ke apa but uh, okay I'm using red here okay so you're gonna red ink but make sure in exam for example kalau soalan ni ditanya dalam test or your final exam please don't use red okay please don't use red color use something else blue or green but not red because red is for us okay to mark your uh, exam papers okay kalau awak guna red juga nanti confusing okay let's get back to our example here awak tarik until you reach the this line sampai awak touch the straight line and then from here as expected from here we draw this line until we touch the uh, y-axis so at this point so this is our liquid limit so it's about approximately 45 percent okay so hey we finally got our liquid limit which is 45 percent okay so we right here okay uh, liquid limit 45 percent so basically this is our first answer and then the next one the second one sorry the second one we have to find the plasticity index kita kena cari plasticity index or pi so how to get pi uh, we learned about this already pi is liquid limit minus plastic limit so liquid limit is 45 and plastic limit plastic limit is given okay so sorry this is given which is 33 percent okay 45 minus 33 equals equals 12 so now we also get our plasticity index okay so this is done liquid limit is done plasticity index is done so the next one is we have to classify kita kena klasifikasikan tanah kita ke tadi uh, menggunakan British soil classification system so therefore we have to refer to this to this chart okay so remember liquid limit 45 plastic sorry plasticity index is 12 okay so based on this graph all right i'm gonna use red again so you guys can see better liquid limit is 45 45 okay liquid limit see at the deep x-axis this is 40 50 so 45 is somewhere here isn't it in the middle okay and then our so this is about 45 okay liquid limit and our plasticity index study yang kita dah kira is 12 so 12 is around okay this is 15 isn't it in the middle so 12 is somewhere there so this is about 12 so do you drag this to the right and then so they meet okay here they titik ni dengan this dia berjumpa di sini okay and then so this region kalau awak tengok this region is mi region 
Nih. This one, you have to, to look at this. Okay, dia dalam ruang. Okay, it's in the MI region. Can you see? Okay, let me highlight. Wait. Okay, so this point, tadi, they meet, they meet in MI region. So this is MI. Okay, so let's look back at our... Mm, table here so we got we got m i so how to give the name sekarang macam mana nak bagi nama to our uh what is it to our soil so m is silt okay m is silt and i is intermediate plasticity so therefore, okay, therefore the name of our soil is silt of intermediate plasticity at the point uh, intermediate plasticity silt. Okay, so let me, uh, I mean now we have to write the complete answers. Okay, so this is the final answers, I mean the complete answers. Jawapan yang lengkap. So, liquid limit again is 45%. Uh, plasticity index 12. And then the soil classification according to British soil classification system is MI. Ataupun nama penuh dia, silt of intermediate plasticity. Ataupun awak terbalikkan sedikit, bahasa Inggeris tu menjadi intermediate plasticity silt. Alright, so... Mm, yeah, that's um, an example of how to classify our soil based on uh, British soil classification system. Uh, I hope you guys, I mean this video helped you to understand this example. Uh, Alright, that's all guys. If you have anything, please let me know. Don't keep quiet. Please text me. Uh, to discuss further okay jangan malu bertanya okay all right that's all uh everyone thank you for listening bye